I'm going to show you the complete process and everything you need, etc., for growing, harvesting, sowing, and preparing your fields for parsnips in Farming Simulator 25. Now, what I'm going to do um, and start off with is show you some of the core concepts of actually how to use um, tractors with machines and things like that. How to load up your machines um, and how to buy them and things like that. So once we go through that, I'm then going to go through the process of kind of what we're going to need. If you need a much more detailed guide on things like how to lime the fields, then you can check out my playlist. So first of all, you are going to need a tractor, of course, for your parsnips. Um, what we then do is buy a tractor and the machines we're buying, you basically can reverse your tractor onto, hook them up, as you can see here, by using the key bind. And then what we do is we go to the field and we turn on the relevant machine, whether that is for liming it, like we're doing here, whether that is for seeding and harvesting. It's pretty much the same. So all of the machines I'm going to show you, hook them up to your tractor, bring them to the field, turn them on, and then just bring it over the field. Some will need lowering or opening and things like that. So I'm going to my shop here. If you don't know how to find a shop, that is, if it saves, that is the little yellow basket icon. So I can go up, go into the shop. Now parsnips will need a few specific things. First of all, of course, you're going to need a tractor to attach your machines to. But because some of the actual machines we're going to be using for our tractor, or sorry, for our parsnips, is going to be very heavy, you will actually need to come down to here to miscellaneous and attach some weights to your tractor. So weights actually go on the front of the tractor, the same way that I just showed you hooking up the machine to the back of the tractor, weights go on the front of the tractor. And they just even out the weight um, from the machines behind it and obviously, you know, to the front of the tractor. So you will need to buy some weights in here, um, whichever ones, it doesn't really matter, and put those on there. Then we need to start off by preparing the soil. So if we go up here, what we're going to first look for is a subsoiler. Generally, this is because it is a, um, a root vegetable. You can use a plow here, but I would recommend a subsoiler. They're easier and just quicker to use. And you can buy any one you like in here. They're all going to be fine for using parsnips. This is going to be step one of preparing the soil for actually putting those parsnips in. After we've done that, we can also then lime our fields. If you don't know if the field needs liming or not, because it doesn't always need it every time, and also you can turn liming off in the settings. Liming will give your fields um, a higher output of crop yield. So you can see here, um, I can turn on in the map under soil composition, needs lime. And you can see this one is brown because I've limed it already. That's what I was just showing you at the start of this video. And then these ones need liming. So you can check there. So to lime our fields, we go to yield improvements and fertilizer spreaders. And you'll need a breedle here. This is the only machine currently in the game that has it. And you're looking for this little, maybe you're watching in a year's time, uh, maybe there'll be more. It's this little white lime icon here you're looking for. So you buy that, you get a consumables, and you buy your lime. That will then appear in the car park, like bags of lime. Attach it to your tractor, and then you basically reverse it up to the bags. And can you see top left, the first key bind says refill fertilizer spreader. If I press R, you can see it's filling up. And that is literally from the bags that we have there. So that's how you refill things into your machines. Just drive them up to the bags and you can refill it. That is going to be the same for fertilizers, for limes, and also seeds. Those are the three things we'll be actually refilling in this method in this video. Above the speedometer on the right, you can see lime percentage, and that is how full the machine is. And again, that'll be the same for fertilizer um, and seeds. So we've plowed or subsoiled our field, we've limed it, you can also do one extra thing, and this is again optional, but it will increase the yield. And this is specifically for parsnips. It's the same for carrots and a few others as well. And that's going to be under vegetables here, vegetable planters. You can put ridges into your soil using one of these Grim or Grimay um, machines. This will put ridges into 
the um, soil for your vegetables, and this will just increase the yield slightly. It's not necessary. Once you've done all of these things, we can then plant our vegetables. And again, under vegetables, um, you're going to choose one of these two machines here under vegetable planters, and you can see the white icon for parsnips there. Now, to actually get the seeds for parsnips, you would come down to objects at the bottom, big bags or big bag pellets, uh, pallets, it's up to you, and then you've got seeds. So those seeds here, um, again, you can just reverse up your planter, your vegetable planter, and fill it up with seeds. Now, to actually pick parsnips, I'm just going to show you an example. Can you see above the speedometer, I'm cycling through the different seeds here? As long as you've got a vegetable planter and you've got the seeds in it and you fill it up just like I showed you filling up the lime one, you can cycle through. On PC, the keybind by default is Y for Yankee. You could just cycle through the different um, seeds until you get to parsnips. And then you could just lower the seed up with V and then turn it on and, you know, start start seeding, basically. So that's how you use seeds, and again, you fill it up by just reversing it, you know, like these lime bags, but the same with seeds. So that's planted them. The next thing you're going to do is fertilize them. Again, it's optional, but it will increase your crop yield. So for that, under yield improvements, we have fertilizer spreaders. Again, choose one of these other ones, or a breedle again. It can actually do both. And in consumables, you buy your solid fertilizer. When do we fertilize? Well, after we've planted the parsnips, if you go to growth, and you can see here I've actually toggled growth on my growth bit of the map. Light green is, um, it's just started growing. Dark green, it's nearly ready for harvest. And you can see on the left here, the different growth stages. You want to fertilize your crops at basically two different growth stages to maximize the fertilizer amount. Another thing you can do, which is the same is weeding it. If you have weeds turned on in the settings, I wouldn't recommend turning them on. It makes it a lot harder. But it's the same concept. After that, we're going to then harvest our crops once they are finally harvestable. Once the parsnips are ready to harvest, again, come down to vegetables and go to vegetable harvesters. And in here, we have these harvesters that will lift your vegetables out of the ground. Once you've done all that, and it's grown and you've harvested it, all we need to do is transfer it to a trailer uh, and bring it to either a silo to store or, if I can find it, um, one of these here. So if I go onto the map, can you see there's this um, purple icon? That's a, a silo. That's where you could basically dump it. So once you transfer it from your harvester to your trailer, you can just line up the trailer on one of these grates here and it will be I for India. Um as the default keybind, at least on PC. And you can then dump your um, trailer of uh, parsnips into the grate and it will automatically sell them. If you want to put them into a silo, it's the same thing. I've got a silo on my farm. Uh, that's not my farm. I've got a silo on my farm here. And you can see here, I can dump it into the silo instead. The reason you would do that is because if we go to the statistics, go down to parsnips, you can see that if I sell them right now in June, it's like worth basically nothing. Whereas if I sell them in January, it's worth a lot more. So you may want to store them in the silo until the required month when it's highest, get them out of the silo back into your trailer and then sell them in Jan. If you want to sell them right now and you're not sure which tipping point to go to, you can see the different prices that they'll currently buy um, here. So if I go to the canning factory, they will actually buy them for the most per parsnip. And the Grain River Silo is actually the cheapest place, so you don't want to go there. That's how much we can sell our parsnips for there. So that's how you know where and when to sell your parsnips. And that is it, guys. That is everything you need to know about growing, sowing, harvesting, and preparing parsnips in Farming Simulator 25. If this video was helpful for you, please click that subscribe button, click the like button, and check out the playlist you now see on screen, because I am doing every animal, every crop, um, how to lime, how to do this, how to do that, how to get a dog, how to repair your vehicles, anything you can think of. I've got a tutorial for it on Farming Sim 25, and I also cover all the latest games.